In this part of our expert guide to journal publishing series, we look at technical submission requirements in the instructions for authors. Failure to comply with instructions for authors sits alongside aims and scope as the top reason articles are rejected from journals. This is usually because the first editorial check is for these features, for example, the structure, formatting, word counts and many others. It is an all too common hurdle over which authors fall and can result in what is known as desk reject. Complying with these instructions is famously one of the most frustrating aspects of journal submission as there are many differences in requirements between publishers and between journals within the same publisher. Should you need to submit to subsequent journals after your first, the different instructions can result in significant time being spent on reformatting and structuring a paper. However, it is important to comply with these instructions as some journals, particularly those which receive large numbers of submissions and need a filter to reduce the papers that must be handled, can be very strict on enforcing them. The strictest journals may not even allow a resubmission to correct any non-compliant formatting, so do be careful. Let's use the JAMA Network Open Journal as an example. This is a medical journal featuring a very thorough and well-structured instructions for authors section which will give you great insight into the range of requirements which may be asked of you when you come to submit your manuscripts. On a journal webpage, look for a tab called Instructions for Authors, For Authors, Author Guidelines or similar. Here we see a series of options. We'll look at the Instructions for Authors. It includes many more options and details of particular interest to us at this stage are article type, study type and formats for manuscripts. Look for and note down the formatting requirements for each article type that the journal considers such as original research, brief articles, review articles, letters and more and most importantly the ones that are relevant to your work. Make sure the journal accepts the type of paper you are writing and that you have formatted it as requested. In these instructions, there is also a long list of different studies the journal considers and how they should be structured. In the Format My Manuscript section, we have the Manuscript Preparation and Submission Requirements, which again provides extensive notes on every aspect of paper formatting the journal requires. Look for detailed requirements of features such as presentation of each part of the paper, introduction, methods, results, title formats, the reference style, the use of units of measurements, accepted abbreviations, statistics and data presentation, style of figures, style of tables and many more. Some journals may even provide a set of templates for manuscripts which can greatly help for structuring and formatting your papers and can be a helpful tool where available. The JAMA Network Open Instructions include reporting requirements they would expect to see in a paper, a series of forms that may be of use and additional resources. This example gives you an idea of the types of details to look for in the instructions of journals you choose to submit to. Check them carefully and be sure to adhere to all requested guidelines. For more ideas to help you identify journals and feel confident about submitting your paper, read through our full expert guide to journal publishing and watch the other videos in this series which look at why we publish in journals, aims and scopes, the peer review process, citation and alternative metrics, research and publishing ethics, and predatory journals.